welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So this is like what I did in Chicago. I wanted to first share um, that this was for work. So I didn't have that much time. Did go with a colleague and she actually explored a little more than I did because I was ill. I'm still suffering with a little bit of a, I don't know if you can hear it in my throat, but I wore my mask. <laughs> and um, <coughs> you know, be safe than sorry. And so I figured with all this stuff going around everywhere, it was better to, um, since I was already feeling a little bit of sore throat, to make sure that I stayed safe and did not catch anything else. And I'm actually feeling a lot better, but still I got this little scratchy cough. And, um, and so, but it seems like my sore throat's starting to go away, perk it up. And uh, usually by the end, towards the end of the day, if I've talked a lot, then I notice it would come back. So I'm hoping like after you film that I will not talk anymore. <laughs> so, all right, first I'm just going to show you really quick some of the things I picked up before I go into the things that I uh, did. All right, so I want to show you so some, a few of the famous places to kind of go, um, like foodie things. This, one of the things is says to get Garrett popcorn. So we picked up the popcorn, and it wasn't, we found, we got ours at the Navy Pier. Um, they're pretty much everywhere. They're even inside the airport, but where we were, we weren't sure if we were actually going to be in the terminal with this, so we decided to go ahead and pick it up at the Navy Pier, um, like the afternoon before we left, so, um, which wasn't far. We just took a little ride over there, and, and we were able to walk around the Navy Pier, which is something she wanted to do, and that, it was kind of fun, so, yeah. That. All right. So the other thing I picked up at the Navy Pier was this cup. Isn't that cute? Look at it. It was so cute. I loved it so much. So it says Navy Pier Chicago, and I love it. It's actually super light. It's actually not a heavy mug, which is good for me, and so I really do like it. So my new mug, and um, I don't drink coffee. So this is going to seem kind of weird, but I do drink a lot of hot tea, so there it is. Of course, everywhere we go, we always get a magnet, so I got a pretty cool magnet. This was, I got picked it up at, up at the top in the sky deck, and I'll share that with you in a minute of my experience there. So, our little magnet. And then Fannie Mae is supposed to be, I don't really know if it's like Chicago based or anything, but we did stop in there to get some candy. So I got some candy for um, my co-workers. Um, and so pick this up. And then to carry some of my our stuff, we I picked up just a little tote bag. So these are always nice to have, you know, these little tote bags. And then I picked up this shirt right here, which basically says, you know, the Windy City. I was going to get this shirt. <laughs> it says, I'm taller than you, which would actually have been really funny because the day we left, the all-star basketball players were coming into town. And so we saw a lot in the Chicago airport, which I don't know anything about basketball. I don't know. I just know they're really tall. Well, I'm not. So I'm 4'10". And so obviously the basketball players, I'm probably like as tall as their leg. I'm going to say it. <laughs> so this shirt would have been really, really funny <laughs> if I had been wearing that next to one of those basketball players. But I didn't get it. I just thought it was really funny. Okay. One of the best things that I bought, <laughs> I'm so in love with, I actually wore this on the way home, so I actually need to wash it, um, is this like long sleeve, it's a really soft, um, really soft, like long sleeve shirt, and it says, sail away on the back. Isn't that so cool? So I <laughs> fell in love with this shirt, and I was like, should I buy it, should I buy it, should I buy it, and bought it. So, yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't <laughs> spend too much money on stuff like this, but I'm like, this is like the perfect shirt. Especially very cold nights. And if you saw my cold packing video, this would be the new item that goes in it. Okay, so 
I want to touch on kind of the food places first that we went to. And all were really pretty good. Uh, we had a lot of suggestions, and I guess it's it's really good to reach out to kind of local Chicago, Chicagoans, Chicago people, people in Chicago, and to get this information. And so I was really lucky to be able to reach out to some people and get some tips and where to go and stuff. So one of the places that we went to first was Lou Malnati's, which is suggested to us. And um, we went and got the Chicago deep dish. And we, you can get a personal size one, which is really nice. So we could we get our own and put our own whatever on it. So what was recommended by the staff was she recommended putting getting the butter crust. Well, I'm I think what happened is I'm kind of not used to that, and it's not like being open to something different. It's like to me, it just didn't it just didn't taste right. It just, I don't know what it was. It just, it seemed off to me. So while the sauce was good and the the bottom crust was good, you know, but the top, you could tell it had like some oils on it. And so I didn't care for that. So that is the one thing. So I probably should have got it without that and should have just kind of gone like just a regular crust. And I probably would have cared for it better or liked it better. But, um, so that was the one thing that I just felt like threw me off just slightly. So I didn't get that. Um, or I didn't really like that as much as another one that I'll talk to you about. So, so the next place we went, uh, after that, that night, we actually stopped at this little place called Fire Cakes. And, um, so really great little, like, bakery, hole in the wall, play, like, literally a hole in the wall. I think only three maybe three customers could fit in there at one time and it's really like a unique little shop they have these little tiny uh, like filled peanut butter donuts well other ones too you can see here but really really small and I think those are kind of perfect um, in this day and age of filling up with crap <laughs> which I tend to do that was like those are like the perfect little size to me sweet donut. It's the perfect size. Okay, so I ended up going back on the the night before we left and we I, I picked up some to bring home. So anyway, I had one this morning. So not good for the wellness, but yeah, ate it. So then um, also, so I think that night, that was it. Then we, um, the next day we had like half a day and we decided to go explore a little bit. And so we went to Millennium Park and we walked around and we went to grab, um, my friend doesn't really eat breakfast. I actually do eat breakfast, but I kind of forego it. She found a little, uh, bakery kind of coffee shop with different types of things in it. So we, <laughs> I don't know what this trip was about to me you're gonna hear about donuts so it was a, I got a donut there it looked different and um, if you don't know I used to work at a donut shop many 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 moons ago <laughs> 30 years ago and uh, so I uh, some I, I'm really picky with donuts so I had this really great buttermilk bar and I don't haven't had a buttermilk bar in like I actually don't even know how long, but it was actually really, really good. It was very tasty and fluffy. It wasn't as heavy as some buttermilk donuts can be. So I really did like that. And then we decided um, we were going to go check out a couple of places, and then uh, it was going to get close to lunch. I think it was about 11 o'clock, and we really had only had a donut. So then we walked pretty far. And it started to snow, and we got two Portillos, which was another one that was very recommended for their Chicago dogs. And we embraced it, and we ordered the Chicago dog. I also got the bowl of chili and some fries. And so you see that here. And it was really, really good. Um, I am not like a super pickle eater or... There was peppers in there and stuff, but I actually really did like it. Now, I took a couple bites, and then I started putting my chili on it, and that actually made it even better. <laughs> and then I put chili on my fries, and then I kind of got a little crazy. All right, so that was that. And what ended up happening is snow really started coming down. 
it is coming down. But we're here at Portillo's. <sighs> Gonna eat our hot dog, and hopefully this will end by the time we leave. So we ended up taking a car ride back, and we realized we were pretty tired from the day before, and we also had to, um, it was getting close to the point where we were going to start checking in, and then there were some things that we had to do. So we did all that, and then later on said, you want to like go grab dinner, because it was dinner on our own. So we went, and we decided to go to that Giordano's. Well, we did not know at the time <laughs> that Giordano's is also famous for their deep dish. And we ordered, well, I ordered pasta, and she ordered kind of like a sampler platter. I also ordered bruschetta, which I wasn't a fan of, because why would you put mozzarella on your bruschetta is beyond me. And the bruschetta, I mean, the mozzarella wasn't even like, it was so thick. It was, it was so, it was just, just don't do that. Just don't do that. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, that, that's, just don't. And so, anyway, but I took the mozzarella off and the bruschetta itself, the combination of the tomatoes and the olive oil and stuff like that, it probably needed a little more olive oil, <coughs> and um, the bread needed to be a little more crusted, but otherwise, overall, it tasted good. So anyway, there's that. And then, the rest of the time, we were pretty much, for the next couple days, for food provided. But I wanted to share... One night we went to the American Institute, not the American Institute, sorry, the Art Institute, which was another recommended place to go, I'll talk about that later, and there was a catered function, and the food was like a 50-50, it was really weird, all the appetizers were really, really good, like the sliders and the little, you know, all, all the little things they were giving out, but the food itself, like the actual dinner food, was kind of heavy and... I don't really know. It was like two pastas and a, one was like a three cheese and I, I don't I don't really know what the whole philosophy is and I love the vendor that hosted it. Believe me, don't think I'm not appreciative of the food that was provided and what they do for us because believe me, that is like an expensive event for as many as they host. And the Art Institute was amazing to host it at because it was a place we wanted to go to but we didn't know if we would have time because of all the things that we were responsible to do. And so we were like, this is great, but yeah, we felt like the food was a little bit of a letdown. Um, but except, so we kind of went up and kept getting like the little more appetizer foods. So we did fall in love with the desserts. Yeah, bad. So then the next night, we actually, our um, conference was hosted at Buddy Guy's Blues Place. Oh my God. It was amazing, and the food was phenomenal, and uh, so, like, that's a place to go to if you like blues music, hanging out. Uh, I can't, gosh, if I could show you some of the videos of the singing that the the band got um, people into, and it was it was really really great, and we just had a really good time there. Um, we didn't say too late because actually. She wasn't feeling well at this point. I still wasn't feeling well. So we actually, like, I think we got, there was a lot of us that got on the first bus and we were back at the hotel by, like, 9, 9.15. Yeah, so we didn't stay out late because we were just, I mean, we sound like party poopers. But, but great place to go to. So I highly recommend, like, the food and everything. The atmosphere is really cool. I have just a little bit of video of just a little bit of the atmosphere and of the food set you've been seeing. So then the next day was kind of like a, there were some meeting, like some membership meetings and some things going on. <clears throat> and the closing ceremony was until late in the afternoon. So we knew that the snow, <laughs> the big storm was coming in late in the afternoon. So we were like, oh, we kind of have the morning. Uh, we were, there wasn't anything going on. So we were like, oh, let's go, um, like see what else we can do. And we wanted to go to a couple places, but for the last kind of food place we went, we went back to Giordano's and we had the, um, we did have the deep dish. That was actually pretty good. Now I'm not a cheese person at all, so I kind of scraped a lot of the cheese out. <laughs> that sounds bad, but, um, but it was really good. So you can see it here. Pretty, they pretty much look all the same, but it had like that dry crust, which I like. 
and so and the sauce was really good it had a lot of flavor in it and stuff like that so very simple it was like a lunch special i don't think it would be even that much i want to oh gosh i can't even remember how much it was but anyway it was like the pizza and a drink and the lunch special for the weekdays and that was at the navy pier so we had that one at the navy pier okay so and then the last day i was kind of like totally um <laughs> Well, let's see, what was the night before? Oh, I did tell you, I did have room service at the hotel, and I will have a room tour soon uh, come up. Um, but I do want to say that the room service was actually really good. Um, so it was, well, the, so that night, so after lunch, that night I had room service. So I had a kid's fish and chips and some tomato um, soup and water that's it and that's all you freaking need it the i get the kids meals in if i do a room service because they're smaller portions and i tend not to eat those big adult portions so it's better for me not to feel like i'm like wasting money especially because this is work and so i just get the small stuff so i figured like a little little fish and chips and and it's still to me, it was like a doll portion. It was crazy. Um, so you can see that here. But they delivered it really nice. And so anyway, hotel review later. <laughs> all right. And then the next morning, like I said, I'm all fooded out by this point. I'm like so over like done. Although we were walking an average of about, I think almost more than 10,000 steps a day. So that's what my averaged out for the week. And so we did do pretty good with that but the next morning I just did a veggie scramble and I think I ate like half a piece of toast or maybe the piece of toast I can't remember and my fruit and like maybe a half of that omelet or scramble or whatever it was and I, yeah it was a veggie scramble veggie omelet oh my gosh and so it was really good but it was like I was pretty much like um, fooded out by this point but this was travel day and I ended up not eating, that was the only meal I had all day, and I got home about 9 o'clock at night, California time, which would have been like 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 o'clock, no, 11 o'clock Chicago time. So I was like, I didn't eat, and I was just so, I was a hangry woman when I got home, let me tell you, I was a hangry woman. All right. If you have any things that maybe I should have done in Chicago, leave a comment below so other people can read it about some suggestions, places to go, food to eat, things to see, what to do, uh, in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and take care and have a great day.